you think of the one I get? There we go. This is Brad and Beth, and we're here with Jeff from Skull Camp Brewing. He's going to tell us a little bit about Skull Camp. So, what's going on here? Well, we're out of Elkin, North Carolina, and so we started brewing about four and a half years ago. And on a small system, it got so popular at our winery. We have a winery as well. And we served our beer there. And uh, so we decided to expand into Elkin. Now we're a 10 barrel system. And uh, we self distribute to about 60, 65 places from Asheville to Greensboro and from Boone down into Charlotte. Wow. So here in town, of course, Cornelius Draft House, Davidson Brick House, uh, Crafty Beer Guys in Huntersville, Max Speed Shop. There's a whole bunch, anyway, between here and around. So, What about in uh, Charlotte? Where would be some places well, that folks so can go? Downtown Charlotte, across from the ballpark, is a place called QCBC. Okay. Queen City Brewery, whatever. It's right there. And, um, uh, anyway, it's a little side street there. And then we're also in um, uh, uh, Common Markets, downtown. Oh. So the one on Tryon and the one down in uh, the other one where Van works. Uh, exactly. And, uh, and so we're, we're trying to expand more there, but right now, pretty much that's it in downtown. Mm -hmm. But we go down all the way to Cornelius Huntersville, and that's, that's about it. So we do, we, our IPAs are kind of what we're known for um, in that they're very uh, well balanced. Nothing's really out, out crazy. Our double IPAs as well are really, they usually... We so saw, you're not crazy IBUs and okay. no, but they're they're balanced with like citrus and things like that. So you, our doubles, you can't even taste the alcohol. Oh, so that's really dangerous. Well, that's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. There's one called Knuckle Dragger that we sell out half of it before we get it in keg. Wow. So, yeah, really but um, then we do reds, we do browns, uh, we do bourbon barrel beers, and we're actually now co-fermenting our wine and beer together. Wow. So that's really, we have sold out of the first one of that, and the second one just came out. So, for instance, we did our San Giovese uh, red wine with our uh, red ale. Then we did our Chardonnay with our uh, stout. Wow. And now we have the porter that just came out with our Cab Sauvignon. So, um, but we're, we're doing all that kind of stuff, too, which is really kind of cool. Now, at your brewery, you have a tap room? Yes. People can go in and try, okay, yeah, I'm going to have to do that. Yeah. And then we also have our beer at our winery, too, in Mount Airy. So. And how close are those together? So we're off at... Ex well, you're in Mount Airy. Right. Oh, so you're in Mayberry. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but it's on the west side, near ah, Low Gap. Got and, uh, it. West side of 77. That's where the winery is. And Elkins exit 85, so we're 15 miles apart. Not too bad, though. Yeah. So you can go on the website and you can see where we are. But um, we do a lot of festivals. Like I said, we were just in Greensboro yesterday. And then here today, and then also. So, what beers do you have today? So, it's the Red Ale and then the White IPA. The Red Ale and the White IPA. Fantastic. And the White IPA is just a hair over a session. So, it's a nice, really mild, uh, citrus based uh, Simcoe and Citra hops. Mm -hmm. And so, it's, um, it's just really nice for a day like today. And it's a hot summer day, so it's called Summerita. Fantastic. So, there you go. Well, thank you very right, much. Thanks. Looking forward to trying everything. <laughs> right, now, now, do you want to taste? Absolutely. <laughs>